How's it going everybody? Today I'm going to be showing off my vintage t-shirt collection. Vintage t-shirts and other clothing have become a large part of my business in the last few years and I just wanted to show off everything that I currently had in my personal collection. I have been collecting for about three to four years now, specifically Nintendo, anime, uh, sports, local stuff, whatever it may be. And I kind of wanted to use this video as a reference as unfortunately I'm gonna be parting ways with a lot of these shirts in the next few months, just throwing some up for consignment, putting some available on eBay and Instagram just because I need to thin down what I have at the moment. I just have too many right now that I don't get to wear and I can be using that money for other things in my business. So that's the reason I'm gonna be selling them. I wanted to make this video to kind of serve as a reference and something that I can look back on and say, wow, I totally forgot I had that tea or I'm really sad that I let that one go. I wanna go and try and find it again. So this is just going to be like the end of the year, what I have, see how my collection has changed throughout the years going forward and what differs. So we're going to jump right into it. So the first category I'm going to show off is car racing bike tees. Um, starting off with this one I'm wearing right now. This is an Indy 500 Champs tee from the year 2000. Next up, we have this American National Collector car insurance tee with this awesome back hit. Another white racing tee, we've got the Daytona 500 with another just absolutely awesome graphic on the back. And then probably my favorite is this Tide Racing tee. Love the orange and the all over print on this one. This tee right here is the one that probably gets the most wear. It fits a little bit oversized and I love the graphic on it. It's a Miller Lite Rusty Wallace racing tee. Next up we have this blue Seattle Seafair AOP. This graphic is so sick and the best part about this tee is I remember growing up and going to Seafair with my dad. I live in the Seattle area so this tee just means a lot to me. Next up we have the only Harley Davidson tee in my collection. This is a 1996 Harley Motorcycles from Bellevue, Washington. I recently thrifted this one and it fit pretty well and since it was local I decided to hang on to it. Alright, this next one is a 1993 American Biker tee on the 3D emblem tag. Badass boys have badass toys biking tee. Then you've got the huge graphic for the Day the Earth Stood Still movie, the 1996 version. And then we've got the Spellbinding Spring Event, Disney's Maleficent Evil Queen tee. Now for my only band tee, I've got this 1990 Spring Grateful Dead tee. And for miscellaneous, we have this Monster 500 Toys R Us long sleeve shirt. Another miscellaneous tee I have is this Kim Kardashian Yeezus t-shirt. Uh, this was a collaboration with PacSun and Yeezus. Still brand new with the tags. These were unreleased. Uh, looking at the graphic, I can kind of see why PacSun didn't want to release these. But this was a Yeezus era t-shirt. And I mean, super fire that it didn't actually get released, but some of them got into circulation. The next category of t-shirts is going to be sports. And we're going to start off with this USA Dream Team tee. This is a bootleg XL. Check out the back print on this. One of my favorite printings of a tee. It's pretty cool. Uh, sometimes this graphic will be on the back and then this graphic will be on the front. I've had that version before, uh, but I sold it and was able to snag this one for a good price. Next up is this 1997 Looney Tunes Taz Seattle Mariners tee. Again, I'm local to Seattle and this was a gift from a friend. So this is probably one of my favorite tees in the collection. Sticking with the theme, this is a 1999 Seattle Mariners tee. And we've got a 1994 Battle for the Meadowlands tee. Thrifted this one in Boston while visiting a friend. And then another one of my favorite tees is this Daffy Dunk throwing up the backwards dunk. It is an Orlando Magic 1994 NBA crossover with Looney Tunes. They have so many of these prints with different sports teams. They also have a Bugs Bunny one where he's shooting the three. Had that one as well in the Magic. I'm looking for this tee in the Sonics version. It doesn't pop up very often, but like I said, they have them for, I believe, almost every single sports team. So if I could get the Sonics one and upgrade to, to that instead of this, I'd be hyped. Then I have another Orlando Magic tee. It's this one with the skeleton hand going through the rim. Um, I just love the fading on this tee. I got it at SneakerCon Seattle for a great price and it just was a good experience so I decided to hang on to it. And then my only wrestling tee is this long sleeve Goldberg shirt. 
Getting into the final two categories here, these are the biggest. The first one is gonna be video game tees. So starting off, we have this Metal Slug 7 promotional t-shirt, actually brand new, still in the original package. I'll pop up a picture of what the actual t-shirt looks like. The first non-brand new tee is this Super Mario 64 Toys R Us promotional tee. Then we have Gargoyles, the video game t-shirt that says kick some bot on the back. And then an absolute beauty of a tee, we have the Nintendo Snowball Fight t-shirt. This was given out to employees at a Christmas party back in the 90s, and there's a blue variant as well. Having this one in an XL that fits me is so awesome having the collection. Then we've got a 1994 Powerfest tee. These things pop up in largest quite often, but very rarely in XL, so I was really happy to snag one when I saw it. It's got the play it loud on the back and this was given out to competitors at the 1994 power fest event now this piece might be the rarest one that i own this is a 1996 nintendo of america bowser solo crew neck it's on the xl continuity tag and these were given out uh, through nintendo power and i think a few other ways but very, very rare and an extra large, and there's not that many of these out. It also has this sweet Nintendo 64 embroidery on the sleeve. Then representing one of my favorite games of all time, we have this green AOP Donkey Kong 64. It's licensed 1999 front, nothing on the back, but still has this jungle graphic. And this is the design that's on the front of the game, like on the cardboard box to the game where they're riding on the minecart. So sick. Next up, we have this 1992 World Standard of Video Games tee. They've got the Mario on Yoshi, the same one from Super Mario World on the Super Nintendo. And on the back, we actually have the Super NES Super Scope. Then we have the one and only Polo. This is a Mario Kart Wii Polo with a Nintendo tag. I believe this was probably an employee tee or promotional item, but just a super sick little Mario Kart Wii Polo. Next up, we have this Mario Mania Henry's Choice t-shirt. I believe Henry's Choice is a denim company, so maybe something to do with the overalls on Mario. I'm not sure why this collab ever happened. Uh, if you have any information on this tee, leave a comment down below. Now we have two Pokemon tees. This is an adult extra large 1998 Ash tee with Pikachu, Charmander, Bulbasaur, and Squirtle. It's got the like original anime artwork on it, which makes it super sick. You can tell the colors are a little bit off. And with Pokemon tees, they're really hard to find an adult extra large. So this one's a gem. And then arguably the sickest tee in the whole collection is this Pokemon Peyote. This is a Mexican bootleg and it's got the Pichachu on the front with the four hands, the Pikachu is clapping. And then on the back, probably one of the coolest designs ever. This is uh, Team Rocket, Jesse and James with the yellow eyes. And like I said, these were Mexican bootlegs, they're called peyotes, and Pokemon ones are pretty darn hard to come by. And so I think I know of two other people in the state of Washington that own one of, uh, not this exact one, but a similar style. There's a bunch of different peyotes. Um, so yeah, this one is so sick and I'm super happy to have it. All right, guys, so the last category of shirts that I have is anime, and we're going to start off with the 1998 Queen Emeralds tee. And then another one from 1998, we have the Kite anime tee. And then another one of my favorites, we've got the 1991 Burn Up tee. This tee fits me so well, and it's got the Danger Highly Inflammable on the back. So I recently started watching Dragon Ball, and when I had the opportunity to grab this 1986 Goku Kamehameha t-shirt, I had to grab it. This is the mullet, so this is the front of the t-shirt. There's another variant where this side is actually on the front and then the back on the other one is completely blank. Then we've got the year 2000's Gundam tee, the year 2000 Tenchi Muyo, the 1998 Ranma tee, and one of my favorite animes of all time, we've got this beautiful purple faded Hunter x Hunter tee. We've got the 1994 Mall Diver anime tee, 2002 Heat Guy J, 1994 Shy by Comic Images. And then lastly, from the year 2000, this Appleseed tee. This graphic is one of my absolute favorites of all the anime tees that I have. So that's gonna be all I have for my vintage t-shirt collection. If you're interested in any of the shirts that I've shown today, they're all size XL, and you can always message me on Instagram to see if something's still available. 
A lot of these have been dropped off for consignment already. And as you can see on the wall behind me, these are like the five big ones that I've decided to keep. With that being said, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos. It really means a lot to me. And I will see you on the next one. Peace.